Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine, coming to you this week with a Common Sense MD podcast. Today we're going to talk about something I've talked about before. Robin Riddle's talked about it also, but I can't emphasize how much that you need to learn about this because potentially it can be useful for many, many things, and that's low-dose naltrexone, LDN. Most people don't know what that is. Most doctors don't know what it is. When you think of um, naltrexone, which is a drug we've used for 60 years for um, use as an opiate antagonist uh, in high doses, 50 to 100 milligrams, we're talking about a completely different animal. So naltrexone, the, use, the official use for it at high doses is to block the uh, effects of opiates. It blocks the highs that you can get from drugs like heroin, morphine, oxycodone. Um, so we use it in that manner to get people off of opiates. We also use it in those high doses to get people off of alcohol. It works quite well for that. I've used it for years for that, um, for people. But, um, now remember, this is different than its cousin, naloxone, which is called Narcan. We use that drug to immediately reverse, um, an overdose, narcotic overdose, quickly. It saves lives in an emergency, but that's naloxone. Um, we're talking about low-dose naltrexone, which is completely different uh, in use and, and, and mechanism. Um, I can't help but say a little side note about the opiate. So, you know, we've had more than 100,000 deaths last year from opiate overdoses, many more really. And it's just awful. You should preach this to your kids, your grandkids, your friends. If they are using pain medication illicitly, um, they're lacing this stuff with fentanyl, which is an absolute killer. Um, it's responsible for 80% of those drug overdoses. So, But we're not talking about that. We're talking about low-dose naltrexone which we use in doses of one-tenth what we would use um, to block down the highs from people that take heroin and are um, hooked on opiates. So, um, and we've used it for years for this, and I can't emphasize too much how useful this can be. You know, in our last conference on uh, treating long COVID patients, uh, some of the speakers said virtually anybody with long hauler syndrome from COVID should be taking LDN. It's very safe. Um, but it really works in a really different way, but it turns out it's a great anti-inflammatory, and it's a great immune modulator. Um, it kind of tricks the brain into releasing its own endorphins. Now, and endorphins act like analgesic to diminish the perception of pain. They also relax you. Um, in other words, they're chemicals produced by the brain, by the nervous system, to help cope with pain or stress. They're the feel-good chemicals. You know, when you take a good run or bike ride and your body releases those endorphins, the runner's high, that's what we're talking about. Your brain's on... Um, opiate-like uh, material. So th those are good. Um, and low-dose naltrexone was first found to be helpful in use with AIDS patients. What they found was um, when they measured endorphins in AIDS patients, AIDS patients only produce about 20% of the normal person's endorphins, those feel-good hormones uh, and neurotransmitters, chemicals. And what they found was a 1% dose of the usual dose of naltrexone produced um, an increase of 300% of that patient's normal endorphins. So it made them feel a lot better. Um, so in integrated medicine, we've been using this for years for many different conditions. Um, I'm going to list some of those now that you may be interested in. Um, fibromyalgia. It's very useful for that. I use it all the time for that. Uh, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, those inflammatory diseases of the bowel that are very serious. Neuropathies, used it for that for years. Multiple sclerosis, MS. Um, plano arthritis, um, even rheumatoid arthritis. We use it for stress. We use it um, 
for psoriasis and eczema. We've used it for Lyme disease. We've used it many, many times for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is the most common cause of low thyroid that we treat daily. Um, We also use it for weight loss. And sometimes we use it in combination with other medicines for weight loss, but um, like Contrave. Contrave, which is an FDA-approved medicine for weight loss, is actually a combination of low-dose naltrexone and Welbutrin. Um, A Harvard medical study showed that at doses of just one milligram twice a day, um, it works quicker than Prozac for depression. Um, and as a matter of fact, they've come out recently. It's kind of proven that um, a lot of antidepressants don't work very well, and they certainly have a lot of side effects. Low dose naltrexone has virtually no side effects. Um, sometimes we even use hybrid dosing, meaning we add just a tiny dose, one milligram in the morning, and then you take your nighttime antidepressant if you think it works for you. Um, in combination, it seems to help it a lot. Um, so um, it really it helps cravings. So that's how it helps for weight loss. It, it's how it helps for uh, alcoholism and, and uh, opiate abuse. Um, so for weight loss, it really decreases those cravings. It increases your growth hormone, which is essential for building lean muscle and decreasing fat. Um, and it also decreases insulin resistance. That's the key with weight loss. So we've used it for a while for that, and it's really, it's really effective. It's, it's very safe, very few side effects. The only side effect I've ever seen with it is you may have more dreams with it. I mean, I usually dose it at night. You know, we usually start out with a one milligram dose for the first week. We work up to three, and then if you need more, four and a half. In certain cases, we even go to eight or nine milligrams, which is way, way lower than the 100 milligrams we use for um, as an opiate antagonist. But we've also used it for microdosing uh, for people that are trying to get off um, of opiates. And I'm ta- when I say microdosing, we talked about milligrams, one to three, 4.5 milligrams. I'm talking about one to two micrograms which is a thousandth of the dose. So it's completely safe. And it's been found that uh, you can still have somebody on the opiate and they they have an easier time weaning off and uh, getting off that opiate. Um, So we use use it for that. So there's a lot of uses for low-dose naltrexone, LDN. Your doctor's probably not going to know a lot about it. You know, again, it's used off-label, which we can do legally, of course. And it's been very safe. It's been very helpful for, for a lot of things, depression, stress, uh, weight loss, and all the autoimmune diseases that we see every day in our offices. You know, it's, it's and certainly um, COVID uh, long hauler syndrome. So it has many, many uses, very safe. Um, if you want to talk about your particular condition or, you know, more about LDN and, and uh, the many other success stories we've had with with patients, uh, just visit one of our offices at performancemedicine.net. I hope this helps. Um, there is hope for your condition. We'll talk next week. Thank you. Mm-hmm.